So my friend just had an accident and suffered a TBI. You told me, you know, to say I'm sorry it happened to you. What can I do to help? That's nice, but now what do I do? Hey, welcome to TBI Tuesday. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about things that have helped me. I cannot speak for everybody, but... I can just speak for me. So one of the big things for me was, well, what I can remember. I really cannot remember anything except for, what is it, two months after my injury. But one thing I do remember very fondly and I'm very thankful is my good friend, Rick. He was on ALC, well, he was part of ALC community, so with ALC it stands for AIDS Life Cycle. So he's a training ride leader. And anyways, so I very fondly remember Rick coming every Monday night. So I have been told that a story before I can remember, but and it was before I could talk, but. Basically, I communicated somehow. I was like, I just waved. It's like, goodbye. I'm like, now I think about that. I am so embarrassed. I'm like, when he was working in San Francisco and then he would take BART, which is like a subway in San Francisco, and then he would ride his bicycle from the BART station to the hospital. So... I'm like, it wasn't a small trip, but I'm very thankful for that, that he came, and when I could, oh, but yeah, so back to what happened, I just said, bye, so that is actually a common occurrence with those who suffer TBI, is fatigue. I would get extremely, and I still get almost five years later, I get extremely frustrated that I get so tired. But I am processing and kind of learning that I get tired easy now. Even if I can just go to the store and bring in a few groceries that my wife asked me to pick up, I'm exhausted. Meanwhile, she's already like taken our daughter like across town and then picked up some medication and went back to a took her mother to a doctor appointment. I mean, she's done a ton. She's just all wherever to go and I'm like, I am so tired. <laughs> and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Well, fatigue is a real common occurrence. So just remember that and don't judge somebody or be down on them. Just realize that. But getting back to Rick, I am very thankful that he would come every Monday night and he would tell me about the weekend rides. And it may seem like a little thing to some people, but it was huge for me because that was kind of the stuff I was living for. I was excited, I was very new to the community, but it made me, or helped me feel a part. So, even if I wasn't able to be there physically, it really meant a lot to me that Rick would just come and spend time with me and just talk to me. So that is very important, just talk to your friend. Realize they may be slower, but I'm like, just take your time, talk to them, repeat yourself if you have to. Unfortunately, yes, I will say that is one thing you will have to do. I think they told me where I was and my what happened to me, my accident, like a hundred times, you know, because I kept forgetting. It is part of the process. The short-term memory is terrible. So the second thing I would say is learn about the injury. So if it's a specific one like 
obviously I have a TBI, but the um, specific one was DIA, diffuse external injury, which is like shaken baby syndrome. So I am very fortunate for my <laughs> abilities. Or, so everybody is different in what happens to them. And so I will say just learn about it. I will tell you about my wife who I think I may have bragged about her before. She's awesome. But the first night we met and talked, she went home and looked up my injury. And she looked it up on YouTube and actually they have some pretty great videos now. When I was in the hospital, I couldn't find them. But now, I will link below this uh, video for this person. Her name is LJ. And I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce her last name. It's like Meltzer, but I don't know. But anyways, so Paula had watched those videos and learned about it. <laughs> learned even more than I know or knew at that time. And she even went above me on and reached out to her on Facebook and connected with her and then connected with me and <laughs> crazy story so come to find out her accident was also a cycling accident exactly three weeks after mine I'm like what so anyways we've been able to do video talks every now and then so I'm very special in me she even because she's a avid cyclist as well even was in the Paralympics for New Zealand I think that's where she is anyway she told me about a gentleman in England who custom makes it's called the axle for back of a bike so basically it turns a bike into a trike so I was able to learn about him and contact him and he was able to build me a back axle so I can convert my dream bike into a trike so now I can ride in so I'll do a video on that later too because it's awesome but anyways it was so important to me to also have somebody I could talk to that understood how it felt and even did what I did if that makes sense I mean She's obviously way better than I ever was and was further along in the process. But it was very special to me to have somebody else who understood and could identify and share her experiences with me. So it helped me see, okay, you're not alone. So and her letting me know about this gentleman in England who made the specialty modifications that I can add to my bike was a game changer for me. I am so thankful. There's something to be said about riding what I call an upright bike. It's very, very special and I'm forever grateful. But yeah, make sure you check down her video below. Amazing, totally inspiring and encouraging to me. So, overall, what can you do? Just see and talk with your friend. Realize you will probably have to repeat yourself. And if you're dealing with TBI, just be patient with yourself because it's a struggle. But, even like now, one thing I always do, I write everything down because I forget. So, but talk to them and then to learn about the injury and understand different little things like memory and fatigue. And it is very important, but actually it's awesome. YouTube, you can find a ton of stuff now. So... Just remember that. Thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you learned some things. But remember, you matter, your story matters, and you belong here. Cheers.